this is Benny Johnson and welcome back for another Hackintosh tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to speak about Hackintosh friendly, friendly CPUs. Now if you can recall from the last episode I spoke about OS X only supporting a small array of hardware. In this episode I'm going to speak about what CPUs are and are not compatible with OS X. So the first series I want to talk about is the Intel Pentium and Celeron series. Uh, these are sort of the budget series when it comes to Intel and compatibility really depends on the model. The newer models probably do work because they have the same architecture as the Intel Core models which is what Apple puts in their Macs. And some of the older models won't work because they don't support the features like SSE2 instruction set and the older models m might only be 32-bit which means that they'll have no support for Mountain Lion and you'll only be able to go up to last year's major release which was Lion. Uh, so if you do uh, have one of these in your system uh, you'll really have to do research on the Pacific model to find out, find out whether it'll work or not um, and if you are planning on making a PC with this series uh, make sure you do extensive research on what models do and aren't supported with OS X. Next I want to speak about the Intel Core series. Uh, basically I can say that every Intel Core processor will work with OS X just because Apple does release their Macs with this series and they have done so for the past couple of years. Uh, the Sandy Bridge version of this series is most supported basically because Apple added support for these in Snow Leopard, the latest version, and they also have native support in Lion and Mountain Lion. Ivy Bridge, which is the latest, just got released last year, has native support in Mountain Lion, however, it doesn't have uh, any support in Snow Leopard or Lion. So, if you do want to get those working well, uh, you will have to go up to the latest version of OS X, which is Mountain Lion. And if you do have an Intel Core processor, you'll probably know that. Uh, the Sandy Bridge models have built-in graphics um, and these have different versions too. So the HD2000 works in line however there's no graphics acceleration which means that you won't get any of the cool graphics effects in OS X. You only get the supported uh, native resolution of your monitor. The HD3000 is pretty much really supported in line and mount line just because they have the CPU, same CPUs with the same GPUs in the Mac Minis and also in their laptops. And this does support the new feature in Mountain Lion which is AirPlay. Uh, it's the same story for the HD4000 except they only added support in Mountain Lion because they're part of the Ivy Bridge CPUs and again it has support for AirPlay as well. Next I want to talk about the Intel Xeon series. Uh, and this is sort of in the same boat as the Intel Core. Most Xeon that have been released in the past few years will have Mac OS X port. Only problem with ACPUs is it really hard is it's really hard to find a good motherboard that is supported with OS X and does actually work with these CPUs because these are not really for domestic use, only for servers. So. If you do want to go with this, make sure you find a good model that supports uh, with a good uh, motherboard that works with OS X. And now I want to talk about AMD because the last few sliders talk about Intel only processors. And AMD really splits the line between compatibility and non compatibility. And AMD processors generally don't work with OS X, not natively, not ever. Just, they just don't work so AMD is a big no-no. If you've got an AMD processor uh, you're really unlucky because OS X does not support it. Apple's only supported Intel since the transition from PowerPC uh, to the Intel processors which are the x86 processor. So if you do have an AMD I recommend that you do change or get a new computer in fact if you want to run OS X. Uh, but I'm going to go and speak about them anyway. So again, if you're making a new PC, don't buy them, uh, get an Intel processor that is supported with OS X. And as mentioned before, OS X only supports Intel. 
if you do want to waste a lot of your time trying to get this working you can it is actually possible to get OS X running on AMD CPUs and you'll have to research a thing called legacy kernel but again this really doesn't work as well as, as the Intel solution for OS X so in conclusion the best supported CPUs are the Intel Core and even again Sandy Bridge at the moment uh, and try to avoid AMD CPUs just because they don't work with OS X and that sort of thing. So I hope I covered a little bit about compatible CPUs. If you really want to find a definitive answer uh, whether your CPU works with OS X, uh, you really have to do some research on that and find the model number and that sort of thing and do some research. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys later.